second building. Last confirmation, five minutes ago. 0300. Building in sight. We are a go. GPS confirms location. Target inside. We need that C4 stat. C4, ready! It's live. Stand back. Let's go. Stay on the lookout and keep your weapons close. He could be anywhere inside. Mission control. He doesn't seem to be here. Keep looking. We have to find him. Check everywhere. Over here. He's in here by the gate. There's no way in. It's locked. Open it. Just open it. Got me. Hey, that's us. He knew we were coming. Charge your name like a dog. <sighs> Typical Americans. Dolotov. But you're already too late. Gold leader, are you seeing this? Copy, Ace Zero One. There's something wrong with my bird, too. I'm gonna push back over to Winston and. Ah, my bird is unresponsive! Feathers, take control! What is this virus? Shit! This bird is flying itself! Two zero nine are mayday, mayday, bailout, eject. Welcome aboard. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, welcome aboard, guys. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome aboard. Hi, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Hi, welcome aboard. Tower to Circle Star 117, fly straight out to advised runway. 23 left, you are clear for takeoff. Roger that, LaGuardia Tower. Circle Star 117, turning at our discretion to 23 left, and cleared for takeoff. Welcome aboard, and thank you for flying with Circle Star Airlines. Our first priority on every flight is safety, so before we take off, I'll be giving a brief safety presentation. Please make sure that all carry-on items are correctly stowed in an overhead bin. Hey. Place all smaller items under the seat in front Take of it easy you with and that make foot, sure man. that all aisles, exits, yeah, and bulkhead areas are clear. Thanks. If you're seated at an emergency exit, yeah! you have the responsibilities of emergency exit seating on your information card located in your seat pocket. As we prepare to leave the gate, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. It's fine, to fasten babe. Your seatbelt, insert the Flight attendant will take care of it in a second. And adjust Just total disregard for the rules. Tight across your waist. So I can't stand people up there. Oh, now. I know. I'm hoping my mom is going to like you because you need stickers for the moon. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Stickers. Hope. <laughs> no tickles. No. Just in case we experience some unexpected rough air. On behalf of everyone at Circle Star Airlines, I'd like to thank you for paying attention. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. And thank you for flying with Circle Star. Sir, please stow away your tablet. Sure, no problem. Just trying to get this through. 
Sir, please. <laughs> just give me one second, please. Just, I'm almost there. Got it. Can I? No, allow me. <clears throat> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Julia, the plane leaves in three hours. Hurry up! You got something you'd like to say to me? I told you and your brother when you started this wasn't an easy job, and you have to move fast or you're out. Six six, no clearance. Cut your engines. Clear the runway. We experience a malfunction. Unable to disengage the engines. Negative six six. Charlie Sierra one one seven maintains priority. No clearance on two five. Left beta. Hold and wait for instructions. What are they doing? Hey, they're coming right at us. Another temp stop. ATC quick. Tower, Charlie Sierra 117 on 25 left Delta. Bogey on collision course, requesting immediate instruction. Nice and easy, easy, Whoa. easy. Check the pressure, check the pressure, check the pressure. <laughs> Got it, I got it. Hey, tight to the right, to the right. Get the ground. Easy, man. Easy, oh. easy, man. Easy, Whoa. easy. Mac, you good? Mac, what were they thinking? Man, we could have been killed. They came right at us. I know. Code red, code red 99, terrorist hijacking on Delta Romeo, Foxtrot 66. All aircraft grounded, divert course to the nearest airport. Stand by. They're routing us to London. All right, well, man. LaGuardia must be absolute chaos right now. You bet your ass. Must be locking it down by now. Are you good? Yeah. Good. Stage two is ready. It's wonderful. Call Zolitov. Mm. 
and uh, stage one is complete. <laughs> Отлично. Начинайте стадию два. For the family. Никто не забыт. Never forgotten. Sir. Pinto. What's wrong? There's been a hijacking. An airliner out of LaGuardia. Walk with me, son. <sighs> yes, sir. What kind of plane? Where was it headed? How many on board? Well, that's the good news, if you want to call it that. It was an empty Descartes Airlines airliner hijacked off the runway. Then just shoot the sucker down. I need jets in the air immediately. Well, sir, our fleet is still crippled by the virus that attacked last night, the NICTU virus. What's the status there? We have three teams from cyber working on it around the clock. It doesn't affect passenger airliners, but the jets are OOC. Not good enough. I need the problem fixed and jets in the air ASAP. In the meantime, surface the air missiles. Get me SAMs targeting that plane. The virus seems to have affected anything with the computer-aided assisted targeting. They're rendered useless. It's like the computers are eating themselves from the inside. How is that even possible? I mean, our analysts have never seen anything like it. it the computers should not be vulnerable to something like this. Get me all the data on the hijacked plane. General, so nice of you to join us. Dr. Liu, I shouldn't be surprised to see you. You're a little overdressed for the occasion. I was pulled from a wedding. The president has asked for my help. Flight data is backed up on the Pentagon service weekly. The next upload is tonight at midnight. If we can't devise an antivirus, it will corrupt thousands of terabytes of intelligence data. Thank you for lending your expertise. What is it? Ivan Zolotov. He's claiming responsibility for the hijacking. You know him? By reputation. He's a leader of NICTO, an expert on programming. Years ago, he created DDS Worm and took down Interpol's service for weeks. When it finally came up online, thousands of corporate bank accounts had been emptied. Can we track him? Yes. Send as many trace route requests as the service can handle. With enough timing data, I think we'll be able to pinpoint his location. You know his world. General, Zolotov is calling. I'll take the lead. Main screen. Hello, sir. And with whom am I speaking? Dr. Mei Li Liu. Doctor, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I have followed your work for years, and I see a common thread. We have both used computer science in our pursuit of justice. I see. I believe in a better world. Have you heard about 19th century philosopher Mikhail Bakunin? The Russian anarchist? We must spread our principles. Not with war, but with deeds. For this, the most popular, most potent, and the most irresistible form of propaganda. Then why are we talking? I like you, Doctor. Cutting straight to the core. So here it is. We are going to cut off the head of the American military. Kill everyone in the Pentagon. Kill everyone in Congress. Kill everyone in the White House. Find the other planes we lost when the virus struck. Yes, sir. There is only one hygienic plane. And so, terrible. That's your goal? Distraction for its own sake? I know you're not some lunatic, Mr. Zolotov. What are your demands? My demands? I demand America disengage from its international positions. It's hundreds of thousands of troops. The logistics are unfeasible, not to mention the treaties that it would violate. Stop.
start with size of Ukraine. If your military hasn't started moving in 60 minutes, we will fly the plane into Kalo Cliff. Nuclear power plant. That's just outside of DC. <sighs> All right. We'll do our best. <sighs> 60 minutes. Are you really recalling the troops? No, we're not going to withdraw. It bought us some time. We have an hour. Can't have covered cliffs and began containment procedures. I think I found a signal, but I don't trust its location. Everything's been encrypted and, and rerouted and encrypted again over and over. Eastern Europe? Ukraine? Where is it? I mean, there still might be more encryption, but... Go to the level eight. And on the SPAC computer, I'll use my clearance code. All right. Let me know. It's it? Yes, go ahead. This cannot be right. Australia? Something's off. We can't have an engage in some decoy. There were nominees in this lead. You saw them. The creatures. Just outside Baltimore. Send in the special ops now and keep checking that signal. Okay, okay. No jets, no guided surface to air missiles. What's available? We need to take that plane out. Uh, shoulder launchers, drones, small airplanes, commercial airliners. Give me a list of planes with a similar trajectory. Quickly. How many? Well, there are 11 planes of similar size within a few miles. How many of those have air marshals? We need presence on board to keep the peace. Just one. Circle Star Airlines Flight 117. Ray Rollins has served on over 500 flights. He's trained in cyber and combat. And the pilot? Tom Elliott. 26 years on the job. And the Air Force for a decade before that. He's a Persian Gulf War veteran. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. We can't risk civilians. Okay, okay, look, look. We'll commandeer 30 commercial planes out of Reagan Airport. Give them fighter pilots. No civilians at risk. Okay, checking logistics. One, one second. At the Descartes' current speed, no. There wouldn't be enough time to get fighter pilots to and through the airport and into fueled aircrafts. It won't work. Check all our airports between New York and DC, not just Reagan. Negative. No time. Get shoulder launchers stationed outside Trenton. We'll force it low enough and blast it out of the sky. Patch me through to Captain Elliot. Patching. Setting course for Linda. All the system's functional. Captain Elliot of Circle Star Airlines. Flight 117. This government line is restricted. This is General Hayes at the Pentagon. Captain Elliot speaking. Listen closely. A plane has been hijacked out of LaGuardia. <clears throat> yes, sir, we, uh, we damn near hit it. What the hell's going on? Damage report? We're all good. All systems are clear. We are headed to landing. We should touch down in about a couple of minutes or so. That order. And maintain course. Sir, ATC has instructed us to land. I'm not... The hijacked plane is headed towards Calvary Cliff's nuclear power plant, just outside Washington, D.C. You've got one hour to bring it down. Nuclear. Yeah, uh, sir, have you deployed jets yet to intercept? I don't hear any chatter. Negative, Captain. A malfunction in the software. No jets. Captain. You have the necessary military experience. And have the only active air marshal in the vicinity aboard your flight. You're piloting the only plane that have a chance. 
Look, we'll have a unit with shoulder launchers stationed right outside Trenton. You force that plane below 5,000 feet and we'll shoot it out of the sky. And if you miss and hit us instead. You force that plane below 5,000 feet, get out of there, and we'll do the rest. General, the SAMS unit is getting into position. <clears throat> Sir, I, I think I can do it, but I'm gonna need to get both the crew and the passengers on the same page. If it is not unanimous, I will not do it. I repeat, I will not do it if it's not gonna be unanimous. Let me know when you've reached the decision. My people will monitor the channel. And alert me if necessary, out. Copy. All right, well, what do you think about this? Flying right in the harm's way? I think we're the only damn plane up here, and we don't have much of a choice. We're it. I'll go alert the crew. All right. Then I'll have the general speak to the passengers. asked us to help take out the hijacked aircraft. Uh, All right, look, look, look. If we can force it below 5,000 feet, they'll shoot it out the sky. That doesn't sound... Uh, is that safe? <clears throat> I mean, there's a risk, but it's doable. And you think this is a good idea? Well... I stand by Captain Elliot. Okay, do what you think is right. Can you ask the rest of the crew? Then we'll talk to the passengers. Mm -hmm. Mary, Sarah, the Pentagon has contacted us. The plane we barely missed on takeoff is hijacked and headed for Calvert Cliffs. They need our help to bring it down and Captain wants our consent first. Okay, thanks. We're in, as long as the passengers consent. Thank you. Selena has consent from the cabin crew. We just have to get it from the passengers now. Captain Elliott to General Hayes. Yes, Captain. General Hayes, all the crew are in agreement with the plan. Acknowledged. And the passengers? Well, I thought it'd be best you talk to them. It's going to be almost impossible to get the consensus. Put me through. Stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We've just been contacted by the Pentagon on a secure government channel. I need you to please listen carefully. Pentagon? I don't know. Today, a plane was hijacked out of LaGuardia Airport. A plan to crash the plane into Calvert Cliff's nuclear power plant just outside Washington, D.C. The nuclear fallout would be tremendous. And millions of lives lost. Millions. Who's gonna ask us to help? The organization claiming responsibility has neutralized our defense system. Our jets, missiles, everything. I reviewed the data between the two of them, Captain Elliot and Air Marshal Rollins have more experience than any other duel in proximity. It's not even close. This flight has the best chance ever to save millions of lives. It's imperative that Flight 
2007 forces the hijacked plane under 5,000 feet, where our ground forces would be able to neutralize the aircraft. Now, there are risks. The possibility of injury and even death for all on board is high. There are a few moments, decisions, and a person's life that can change everything. And this is one of those moments. We have one hour to stop the terrorists from destroying Washington, D.C. So search your conscience, listen to your heart, and decide if you are willing to take this chance for yourself and for your loved ones. You are the last hope for millions of your brothers and sisters on the ground. Thank you. What? What does he mean, stop terrorists? What can we even do? No way, sorry. Logan. Hey, we got this. Logan, come on. We have to do it. Not gonna happen. We have to, man. Logan. It's not gonna happen. Terrorists have hijacked yeah. the plane? Okay, yeah. please settle down. We're all gonna die. Please, yeah. settle, down. Yeah. please settle down. Please settle down. No, okay. Shh, my nose is Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Please just be calm and listen to what I'm about to say. I understand that you're scared, you're confused. I get it. I'm there with you. We all got to be on the same page. All we need to do is just to force that plane under 5,000 feet. I know it sounds crazy, but you got to trust me. However, what we're going to do first is we're going to take a vote. If it's not unanimous, we won't do it. What happened here for me, okay? She said settle down. Ray Rollins, United States Air Marshal. Badge number 12623. Former United States Air Force. Served eight years overseas. I tell you this so that you know I know what I'm talking about here. It's gonna be fine. Now the general just came on and gave us all the details. We all have them. A hijacked plane is making its way towards a nuclear power plant in Washington, D.C. That's Congress, that's the Pentagon, that's the White House, okay? That's thousands, maybe millions of civilians dead. Unless we stop them. But what about us with children? What about all the children on board? Shouldn't they have a chance to live? To live, ma'am. No one said anything about a suicide mission, okay? We all wanna live. But think of all the children, all the families that we could save. Do you have a family? If you did, you wouldn't ask us to do this. Look, I got a newborn waiting at home for me in Alexandria, okay? Now she'd be inside the blast radius. You better believe I know the stakes here. Grandma, sit down. I want you to be safe. But what about dad? What about the highway story when he pulled over and yanked some guy out of a burning car? No, this is life or death. Exactly. That's why we have to do it. We have to at least try. We have to honor his memory. You have so much of him in you. Okay. How about we take that vote now? now it's going to be a blind vote so that you can all vote however you want. And I'm going to stay out of it and count so it's truly all your vote. And it has to be unanimous. If it's not unanimous, it's a no-go. You ready? Close your eyes. All those in favor, raise your hand. Okay, put them down. Now all those opposed? Okay, put them down. Well, we had a single no vote, so. Are you kidding me? I mean, we got, we got lives at risk. Maybe the person who voted no could explain why. Yeah, we deserve an explanation. Okay, everyone stop. I did it, all right? All right, I voted no. And I don't want to fight anyone about it either, okay? Yeah, you I do. just want, okay? I just want millions of people to die. No, I don't. Yes, don't. yes, you do. No, I... Hey! Give him a chance to say his piece, okay? Can we just talk about this for one second? How many planes are in the sky? A few thousand. So why us? Am I the only person on this plane that thinks that this is crazy? How do you guys think that this plan ends if we're not successful? They say that we're not gonna, but 
I don't see any other way that we're gonna make an impact. Okay, fair points. Let's go through them one by one. How many planes are in the air right now? Well, on the East Coast, probably about a thousand. That wasn't until they told us all to land. And out of those that are left, how many have enough fuel to get to DC? Maybe a few hundred? Exactly, a few hundred. So why us? Because you got a pilot with military experience who thinks he can stop them. And I have top level training in cyber and combat. I just spoke with the other cabin crew. The rest of the passengers are in agreement. So that just leaves us. It's just that. What? I don't want us to die! Look, we're all afraid. Look around at this cabin. We're all scared. But I believe that together we can figure out a way to save millions of lives. Okay, I'm in. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Where we go? All passengers give consent, Captain. It's a go, Captain. All right. Set course for Rowe airplane. Set in course, sir. Son of a bitch. Captain Elliot General Hayes. Yes, Captain. We now have consent from all crew and passengers and will attempt to force a hijacked plane with range of your missiles. We've set a course to intercept. Godspeed. It all work. I am cutting all communications to cabin. I repeat, I am cutting all communications to cabin. We're only able to mobilize one launcher due to the Nikto virus, Captain. We'll have to make this count. Good luck. Over now. Okay, then. First things first, we need to go full throttle and catch up with them. Stand by. We're going to go in three, two, and go. What's the plan? Once we get close enough to him, we're going to approach from the top. I know this might be a little bit before your time, but are you familiar with the Vortice crash landings in the 90s? Sure. A bunch of planes went down Crashed because they down. flew too close together. And now there are safety regulations in place to prevent that from happening. You betcha, but now we're going to use it to our advantage. You see, each wing generates a stream of coiling air, a wake vortex. So if this side can generate three to 400 mile per hour wind. So if you're flying into it, it's like you're flying through a 300 mile per hour wind. See, so I'm going with this now. That could be tough. To say the least. So if we get in front and manage to stay above them, the force of our wake will be too strong. They'll, they'll be forced to descend. Here you go. Okay. A few minutes now. Here we go. What is that? An airliner? What are they doing? I don't know, but we will not stick around to find out. Disengaging autopilot. Gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are going to engage with Descartes. We may experience some turbulence. Please keep your seatbelt fastened all the time. Thank you.
little dumb, Captain. And you know where you hit. Smack? You good? <laughs> Thank you. We're fine now. Yeah, we're gonna be home soon, okay? Hang tight. Here we go. <laughs> We gotta get sharper. Missile team awaiting the order, General. Shit! Turn! I'm trying! We are descending too fast! Captain Elliot, the Descartes has fallen into range! Get out of there! Here we go. You're climbing up. Ready? I got it. Finally. Number one, fire. Doctor, the team outside of Trenton is reporting unsuccessful. We have to get our people out of the city. Agreed. Evacuate Washington. Now. Guys! Guys, look! We're flying away! That isn't right. Can I get you anything? I need to talk to the captain. I'm headed up to the cockpit. Hey, it didn't work, did it? No. Logan Baker, New York Fire Department. Right now, the best thing you can do is return to your seat, fasten your seatbelt. Okay. Just keep everyone calm, we'll be right back. Okay, uh, can I get anyone anything? Gentlemen? No one's... The day cart's still in the air. The missiles didn't hit it. I know we've been on a few flights together before, but nothing quite like this. I saw the day cart divert its course. Uh -huh. You have any more ideas? Uh, none that won't kill us right away. What do you got? I spent a few years at back in training. Mm -hmm. It taught us a way to synchronize navigation systems. Or we could literally take control of another plane and land them in tandem. Oh, of course, look, listen, listen, listen. It's got to be on the same software, but we're flying the same plane, just different companies. It's worth a shot. Give it a try. Okay. Mind if I can? Yeah. I'll call the general. <sighs> okay. General Hayes, this is Captain Elliot. This is Captain Elliot. Yes, Captain. We know that the missile missed a target. Maybe Rollins attempted to sink the battle's plane's navigation system, so we may be able to land the Dakar remotely. Acknowledged, Captain. Keep me informed of progress. Over now. I can just assign them our navigation signature. Error? Let's try it again. Come on, Rollins. Can assign them a new call sign? That might work.
All right, we just need to match signatures. Can you call ATC? Uh, yeah, copy that, copy that, copy that. Uh, tower, Charlie, Sierra, 117. 117, go ahead. You're on, you're on, you're on, go. Tower, protocol, Niner, Niner, Golf, November, Omega, clearance, 12623, Romeo, Tango, Foxtrot, 001. Roger that. Activation code MLGB1328. There. We are synchronized. What's happened, Naya? I lose control. What do you mean you lost control? To the Americans? I don't know. I was flying fine. Just like that. I have no control. You got it? Try it. Very tight. <laughs> I don't understand. Is, it, is this a malfunction? It can't be malfunction. I've never seen malfunction like this in my life. Then what? Feels like maybe it's a Zolotov. No, it couldn't be. It has to be the Americans. It has to be that airliner. I can't believe it. It worked. Sure looks like it. Thank you, Tower. Mac, can you call your hands for me? We need more dated computer terminals. Boot force is all we have, and we're running out of time. General Hayes, this is Captain Elliot. This is Captain Elliot. Yes, Captain. We passed through. We are now synced in and remotely controlling the other plane. Acknowledged. Get those planes on the ground before they figure out a workaround. Well done, Captain. Copy that, copy that. We are now looking for a place to land two planes at this current time. Mac? What we got, Max? Oh, yours. We need a place to land pretty quick here, buddy. Uh-huh. Yes, Captain. Shall I start with airports? No, 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 no. We don't got time for airports. We need interstates, highways, farmland, anything. We do not have right, time. All right, all right, all right. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, we've got some farmland right up ahead. All right, that'll work. General Hayes, we sync navigation systems with the day card. All right, we're going to land both planes now. Sending coordinates. Dispatch first responders now. Make sure law enforcement seizes the hijackers personally in the trunks. They need to be analyzed immediately. Coming into land? How did they get control? All assets deployed to location. Good luck bringing that plane down. Out. Thank you, General. Mac, will you please talk to the passengers for me? I've got to focus on this. Attention, passengers. This is First Officer Mac. And we are going to land the two planes, so I'm going to need you all to stow all your belongings and fasten your seatbelts. Looks like we're landing on a farm. Victor, do something. Yuli, get control of yourself. Our sacrifices will be for nothing. We, mu we must do something. Cut the power, anything. We can't cut power. We can't cut power. We have to reboot the plane in midair. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've lost sync. Oh, God. We are locked in those dives. It'll take about 60 seconds before we can reboot the plane. Keep your nerve, Victor. Hey, 
They're dropping out of the sky. What happened? I mean, I gotta go. They're gone. What do you mean they're gone? I mean, their signal, it's gone. 30 seconds. Wait, so we were just hooked up to their navigation system. So that means that they, they cut the power, they killed the whole system. Shit, all right, well, yeah, I just stand by. Shit. Victor, reboot. Reboot it. We don't have much time. It's not working. It needs to cycle again before the next attempt. If we don't take back control, it's all with a win for nothing. Come on! All right, our sink is up. We're pulling up. What? Captain, no, come on. Well, so if we don't pull up right now, we will crash. Let me just see if I can try to reset the system. You better quick, Wellness. I'm trying. Come on. You got 10 seconds. Now! We have power, we have power. Pull up! Pull up. Pull him up, pull him up. not pulling up on the menu. It's like the plane's not even there. Come on, Ray, think! Okay, the nav software has triggered upon takeoff. We got so, five seconds. So, 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 Rollins, so, 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 if they recycle and reboot it, if they reboot the software, then the computer doesn't think the plane ever took off. Dang, and if they never took off, then it can't be in the air. Exactly. Well, do you have any ideas? Anything at all? I know it. All right, well, why don't you go back to the cabin and keep the passengers calm? If the plane shows back up on the monitor, we'll let you know. I'm gonna call the Pentagon. Right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. They're getting away again. I don't see them. What is it? Who'd you try? Didn't work. So what's the plan? We're brainstorming. What do you think we're flying at? About 10,000 feet? Yeah, I think um, about 10,000 feet. That seems right. I'm just hearing me out. I skydived out of <sighs> dozens of planes as a teenager. I'm gonna skydive onto that hijacked airliner. I'm gonna find a way and I'm gonna kill those hijackers. You got me, Marshall? Look, Logan, I appreciate your bravery. But even if you were somehow miraculously able to land on that plane, there's no way you'd survive the impact of the fall. Okay, you'd be like a cannonball falling from the sky. Well, when did a cannonball take out a passenger airliner? There's millions of lives at stake. And I'm willing to make that ultimate sacrifice, guys. Logan. Are you? We are not going to let you jump out of the plane on a suicide mission. Even if you survive the landing, how are you going to get inside? But he brings up an excellent idea. Cannonballs sink ships. You're in the 1800s. This is a dumb idea. Hey, look. If we're going to take out this plane, we need to start thinking outside the box, OK? Now, everyone's seen a bird, right? They're small, lightweight, and fluffy. Feathers. They've been known to take out airplanes. If we had something heavier, something more solid, I mean, we could do some really serious damage. You're right, so let's just use our cannon to launch cannonballs at them. You're not hearing me. We don't need a cannon if we're using gravitational forces to propel our projectiles. 
What you're saying is if we get something like a, like a dumb missile, something without explosives, right? Right. So what do we have on this plane that we could use as a projectile? I have an idea. What is it? Well, <laughs> it's sort of a joke amongst flight attendants that the service trolleys are dangerous weapons. Service trolleys? The beverage carts. Yeah, that's it. That just might work. Yeah? Should I get them? Hold on, hold on. Are you kidding me? Well, I'll be sucked out the door or die from the pressure. Will the door even open? Look, both planes are now well under 10,000 feet. It's possible. I've done it before. OK, uh, we have three carts on this flight. Great. Load them up as heavy as you can. I'm going to go let the pilot know he needs to fly right over the day cart. Okay. Great idea. are on board. Just talk to the phone. Okay. Okay. He's gonna make the call, but it's gonna be loud. So he's gonna radio you through the phone. I'm gonna go on your mark. I talked to the pilots. Captain Elliot said he's gonna make an announcement as soon as he's in position. Okay? We've descended enough. The cabin pressure stabilized. Copy that. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats. Keep your seatbelt fastened. As <laughs> so we prepare to open the emergency exit door momentarily. They're coming back around again. We've rebooted. They cannot sink with us now. Mr. Rollins, we're in position. Hold on, everybody. The pressure in the entire plane's about ready to change, so we need to be careful. If you don't need to be here, I want you to move to the back section of the plane now. I'm gonna go help. Noah, stay. Fine. We've come too far to fail this mission. Ты понял меня? Ready? I'm ready, right? Uh -huh. Here we go. I like this idea a lot better. Let's go! All right, let's go. Card number one's in position! All right, we're gonna drop it. Three, two, one, drop it! Go! is up back at 50% and speeds approaching 300 kilometers 
Burao. Well done, Victor. I'll give it to them. They may be weak, but they're trying. I think if we could get the trolley to punch a hole through their wing, it might be able to take them out completely. Okay, third card. This is our last card. Make it count. Let's go, guys. Come on. We're going to go in three, two, one. Drop it. Go. Yes, Captain. General, we dropped service cars through the car to punch a hole in her left wing. I saw them lose altitude fast. I think it worked. <laughs> okay, good work, everyone. What do you say we get back to our seats and fasten our seatbelts? Come here. I can't believe that that worked. Come on, let's get back to our seats. Come on, babe. I just need to. Grab something from the bag. What could you possibly need from your bag right now? Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. The Descartes is dropping. I repeat, the Descartes is dropping. Once we get confirmation of the crashing, we'll get you all on the ground. A great job, everyone. But we should wait for the official confirmation. I think you saw what I did. I mean, that's confirmation enough, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll wait for the official word myself. Wait until the guys hear about this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Babe, I love you. I love you too. Come on. I knew we were gonna wait to get married. I mean, I don't think there's a better time than now. I mean, we just saved millions of people's lives. And Elizabeth Cartwright? Come on. Will you? Hold on. Guys? Guys? They're back! Oh no, look. That thing went right through the wing. How are they still in the air? Ladies and gentlemen, as you may have seen, the Descartes is still on course for DC. We have 20 minutes. Oh, oh my god. How are they still in the air? Not to be the bearer of more bad news, guys. But if we keep going, there's probably not gonna be enough time for us to get away from the nuclear blast. What? Oh my God. It's too dangerous for us to keep going. Oh my God. Oh my God. People, just stay calm. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Captain. I don't know. Captain. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. They must have missed the control leakage. Call the general, sir. Yeah, yeah just hang on. Just shut, shut. All right, here we go. Open by. channel. Just, 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 Open just, channel. Just, General Hayes, this is Captain Elliot speaking. This is Captain Elliot. Captain, what's the status? Status is projectile gambit was unsuccessful. It made impact, but not enough to bring it down. You need to get your people out of there. Go to Massachusetts. We have a team in place waiting to minimize the effect of the nuclear fallout. Say hi. I have another idea. Collision. The Dakar has a damaged wing. It won't handle the impact. I won't let you fly a suicide mission. Sir, no one's saying suicide. Listen, just, just hear me out. I'm not talking kamikaze. Just trust me on this. Captain! Sir, look. I am absolutely sure that I can collide without making a crash, okay? I just, as big as this damn bird, all we can do is just nudge her. Just not just a tad bit, she will go down, I guarantee. Sir, they have a damaged engine and a damaged wing and... and who knows what else? They're not at full strength. What's the status of the antivirus? <sighs> we'll have a night age terminals dedicated to brute forcing the permissions, but I haven't succeeded. I'm trying. It could be hours, maybe, uh, maybe days. Sorry. You can do this successfully. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, I can. Don't make me regret this. Godspeed. Over and out. <sighs> well, it's... Sir. You're gonna want to head back. It's gonna get rough. Hey, you know, sorry about earlier, putting you on the spot and all. I mean, I was gonna wait till we got to your parents, but, you know, I don't know much in this world, but I do know I love you. I love you too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We're running out of time and options, and at this point, the only option that we have is to collide with the other plane. And I'm not talking a kamikaze. This is not going to be a suicide. Trust me on this. It's more of a slight nudge that we will be doing. Trust me. What I need you to do right now, stay calm, return to your seat. Fasten your seat belt. We're going to get through this. We're going to go in three, two, one. Here they come for another round. Predictable. Yeah. Let's see it. What are you doing? Don't let them get close. But we've taken too much damage. I cannot fly them. But perhaps if we drop, I can buy us all the time. This better work. It'll work. Oh, oh, there's that turbulence. Oh, yeah. It's definitely not any worse.
Relatively clean break. Then I can put in a temporary splint, Logan. Give me yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh god. Can you get your tie off with your other arm? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Alright, oh. just get around. Okay. Gonna wrap it around. Oh. I'm sorry. Here we go. It's not perfect, but it should hold up until we get on the ground. Okay. Okay, Thanks. just keep it still. Oh. We have taken more damage, but we're still on course for the Cavern Cliffs. The Descartes is still in the air. What about Zolotov's signal locator? Status. The task force has arrived at Zolotov's signal. They're requesting the go-ahead. Any anomalies? Reason for suspicion? Negative. General. Give them the green light. Acknowledged. Tell them to take every single hot drive they see. If brute force won't work, it's critical and we find the source code to this virus. Yes, ma'am. Just how confident are you that Zolotov is in that building? I can say that's where his signal's been transmitted with 93% certainty. Tell the soldiers to watch out for an ambush. Something smells fishy. Tread carefully. Yes, sir. Забрали собаки. Типичные американцы. Ну, вы опоздали, блядь. Пора, сука, сваливать, блядь. Поехали, не ты мои! Так, давай, заводи! Поехали, нет времени! Skydive. Guys, look. The emergency exit door was blown off during the collision. I could skydive down into it. No. No, 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 no. We already talked about this. That's almost certain death. Ray, what's the difference? If I die here or I die over there, huh? You're not jumping. I don't see any other choice. Well, can we just can we all just think for a minute? Yeah. What about rope? What rope? I have my rock climbing gear. We can lower him down into the open door. That could work. Time me up. Okay, if we're gonna do this, we need to go. Ma'am, if you don't wanna watch, you can sit in the back of the plane. That's not what I'm trying to argue. Is this happening no matter what I say? I think so. Damn, I feel a hell of a lot better with you here with me, okay? Yeah, no, no, help. 
Just walk me through it. I used to tie knots at Girl Scouts. Okay. I'm gonna go tell the pilots. Okay. Something tells me they're gonna need some convincing. Captain! Hey, what do you got? We only got 10 minutes. That collision blew the emergency door right off. There's a hole in the day cart. And we want to lower a passenger, a fireman, down on a rope. Okay? We just need you to position the plane, sir, so he could crawl through the opening and retake the aircraft. Wait, you have got to be kidding me. Look, we've played in here before. Wait, they've taken more damage than we have. Look, this is our last shot. We have to take it. Sir. <sighs> Captain. The left door? Yes, sir. All right, we'll, we'll let you know when we're in position. Pull that one tight? Yeah, okay, got it. Like that, good, good. <sighs> Should be good. Okay. Very good. We're good? Yeah. Did I hear we're good to go? <sighs> Pilots ready? They're in position. I don't make it. Don't talk like that. Hey, look at me. Look at me. I love you. Okay? I know. I love you, too. And yes. Yes to what? I didn't give you an answer to your proposal. Yes, of course I'm going to marry you. Yeah? Yes. Guys, guys, guys. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but we're running out of time. One more for good luck. There's a lifetime where those came from. Okay. Hopefully a long time. You ready, Logan? Okay. Now look, there's no telling how many hijackers are over there. You're gonna have to assume that you're gonna be outnumbered in a fight. Okay. Okay? A big time disadvantage, you're gonna take this. You had to use it? Secure that before the jump. You won't want to drop it. Thanks, Frank. You ready? I'm ready. Turn around slowly. Step over the rope. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Watch your step. Stay clear of the rope. Who is? I'll see you on the ground. More slack. Hand me my gun. Take it. Oh, let's go. Come on. Cold Zolotov. Victor, they are on the plane. Rock the plane. Ray, you all right? Yeah. She cut me. Oh, yeah, 
Alright, that looks deep. Not so fast, American. <laughs> this will lock collision course with the power plant. <laughs> Aircraft. This bird on the ground. Whoa. Whew. I'm locked out. What do you mean you're not locked out? I mean the controls, they're unresponsive. Try the radio. Go ahead, give it a shot. Huh? The comps needs to be unaffected, eh? <laughs> they forgot to get the comps! Here, hold on. That's the emergency channel. Mayday, Mayday, is anyone out there? Over! Mayday, Mayday, is anyone Logan. out there? Over! Logan, is that you? Yeah. We made it. You're live! I need to talk to Liz, the surgeon. Yeah, stand by. Liz, I just want to tell you I love you so much. Sorry. Logan? I'm so sorry. What Logan's trying to say is that we don't have control of the aircraft. We are completely locked out of navigation. And as far as I can tell, headed directly for the nuclear power plant. Over. Oh my God. We're within minutes of DC. There has to be something that we could do. There has to be something we could do. It's <laughs> over. All right, Ray, I, I, I got you. I got you. Have you tried? Cutting the autopilot. Yes, sir. It won't disengage. All right. Well, have you tried setting a new course? I can't, sir. It won't let me in. What if we cut the main power? Look, we keep the auxiliary power, but, but we cut the main power and the autopilot with it. What good is that going to do, sir? We still won't have control of the plane. Yeah, well, we'd have to hope that we don't stay locked out when the system reboots. But right. if we cut the main power, that will kill the engine and the autopilot with it. No, Look, because... which will cause a change in the flight path. No, no, you're right, because the autopilot doesn't even descend in the, in the trajectory. Yes. Okay, so it's going to descend gradually either way if you cut the power and you're going to miss the nuclear power plant. Good call. Yeah. That must be what the Russians did when we synced the navigation system. Hey, look, whatever is locking you out, all right, is hooked to that same navigation system, all right? Dead stick it. Ray, buddy, you got three minutes. If you don't get in three minutes, I'm going to have to bump your trajectory. It ain't gonna look good for the rest of us. Do you copy that? Cut the damn power, Ray. Cut it. Copy you. Cutting power now. See you guys on the ground. <sighs> Seatbelts. Better put one of these. All right, cutting the power in three, two, one. Cutting power. Worth, uh, sure was nice meeting you today. You might be one of the bravest men I've ever met in my life. Thanks, Ray. You know, that means a lot coming from you. And hey, if we get out of this, you're the best man at my wedding. But now I'm gonna explain that to my brother. 
Deal. Are we back? Help. I'm so looking for her wedding dress. Copy you. There you go. Give it a shot. Dakar Airlines airliner to flight 117. Dakar Airlines airliner to flight 117. Logan, look. Lo Logan, Logan, is that you? We made it. You crazy son of a bitch. You're still alive? <laughs> we gotta get the hell off this plane. <laughs> we'll catch you on the ground. I'll see you on the ground. I'll see you on the ground. I'll see you on the ground. <laughs> Holy cow. Get off this bird. Let's go. It's a mirror. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Son of a bitch, he's alive! <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, <laughs> that crazy son of a <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. May I be the first to inform you? That the rogue is Cartier Airlines airliner has landed safely. Yes! 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 We did it! We did it. <laughs> we did it. Congratulations. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, it's okay! It's okay. It's okay. Oh, yes, he did it. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to touch that bone when we get to the ground. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What is that? That's what? What? Look. Incoming transmission from unidentified aircraft. What is that? Just answer it. Circle Star 117 Sierra Delta to unidentified aircraft. Please identify yourself. You know who I am. I'm Shadow in the Darkness. General, it's Zolotov's jet. Acknowledged. We've come too far to lose it all to this madman. No. No, I don't think so. We're heading this way. We're gonna need one more stroke of luck. We got it.
Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Congratulations, Captain. Dad would be so proud of you, Matt. You think? And so am I. Oh. Thanks. I did it. Let's get off this plane! Let's go, come on. Uh, come on, Matt. Let's go.